Welcome back to Montana. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be installing the Morimoto two-stroke 3.0 uh, LED high beams in the Silverado. I actually already had the low beams in there, and I've been running them for a few weeks now. The point of this video is not to sell these to you. I bought them with my own money, uh, but they are pricey, and so I really kind of want to share whether I think they're worth it or not. My housings are dirty right now, uh, so I'm going to wipe them off. Uh, but the low beams here are projector on this truck, and then uh, just regular uh halogen bulbs on the bottom and they were halogen on the top too but i had updated the fog lights to just a simple led i think these are like 30 bucks on amazon i'll link them below uh but these uh it was really kind of dim with just the stock bulbs i don't know that it was bad but uh coming off the ram where i had brighter lights and a bunch of leds with cubes and a light bar uh where it was much easier to see at night with the long distances and how dark uh, it is here at night. Um, I really want to upgrade the lighting on this truck. I could have gone with the regular bulbs, but I figured uh, why not uh, step out and try with the LEDs. I like the way they look and uh, I'm hoping that they would give me a little bit more light. So far with the low beams, I'm not necessarily convinced that they're that much brighter than the stock um, beams. I don't know if that's because of the projector housing. I'd show you on video, but there's plenty of videos that do that. And even then you can't really trust that because the camera doesn't see the same as your eye and it's easy to tweak exposure and all that stuff. So after we get these installed, I'll give you some actual impressions. But so far, actually these cheaper bulbs, I don't know if it's just a fog light housing or what. Um, and obviously they don't throw as far as the projector. Um, but man, upgrading just the stock bulbs with the stock housing from a halogen bulb to this LED. Um, it's so bright and throws so wide. Um, it's awesome. I can see a lot more deer, a lot more side of the road. Uh, it's much safer with these guys. The, the color of these is about 5,700K, uh, and these are about 6,000K, so they're not that far off, but uh, if you're uh, perceptive, you will notice a difference. I didn't want to put LED cubes in here like I did in the other truck. I like the stock look. Um, I would if I do uh, change this bumper one day, though. I am running cheap cubes in the Tahoe, and they seem to work well, and they've been working well for, boy, I don't know, uh, three years now. So I think a lot of what you're getting here with these is nicer packaging. They've got these real solid boxes, which I could do without. Um, and they come with a ton of stickers, which again, one or two stickers is very cool. <laughs> they give you like 30 stickers. But they do feel like they're quality as far as actual manufacture. We'll see how long they actually stand up. I mean, it's a headlight. Do I really need it to be this fancy? I mean, maybe they do this just to make sure it doesn't break, but laser cut foam. We've got the actual LED lamp. There's a fan in here and it recirculates air. It's actually a different design. They've got some cool videos on that. Uh, this can be clocked for different fittings. You've got your ballast and then uh, here's your uh, harness plug. There is polarity on this plug. This fan kicks up and it's pretty loud, but pretty nice braided line. I mean, they look nice. I mean, you're never going to see them. Now these are technically not certified for uh, street use, but I don't, I don't think you're gonna have any issue. I mean, who's really gonna check the actual bulbs in your car? Yeah, no stickers with this one, so that's kind of good. So I got about 300 with them last time. So I'm just gonna turn the ignition on without actually powering the vehicle so you can hear the fan where up on the outside. It's actually pretty loud. Let's see if you can hear that in there. Here's what they look like on. They look nice, that's for sure. And it's a nice, crisp, straight beam pattern. Right here, that fan going even more. And that's behind a plastic housing, too. And these are plug and play, so you'll just want to order up the right size for your vehicle. The Silverado, there's uh, shrouds that you turn to take them off. But you turn them, and then they pull off, and then the lights are behind that. So these come off like this. Yeah, this, they're actually marked what side's up and what side's down. So you can see down there, the bottom one is off and the bulb is in there. And it's as easy as untwisting that bulb and disconnecting the harness and then twisting the new bulb in and connecting the harness. Hopefully you can see the tabs. I'll try to get them clocked uh, the same way. You want the LED to be up straight up and down like that in the housing. Hopefully you can see that down there where the light is in. Now I just need to connect the harness. Now both the low and high beams are on. And you can see, kind of you can see a difference. Again, hard to tell on camera. It's high beams definitely brighter. Definitely shooting brighter than that guy. Now that's all in there, I'm gonna try and tuck the harness and the fan uh, 
into the surround. The high beam is easier to get in there, it's just more clearance to your hand. Now for the passenger side, uh, I gotta disconnect the mass airflow sensor. It's also a couple of hose clips back here that hook into the back of the air box to hold on a coolant line and hold on this uh, airflow sensor. Take off this clamp and then the air box actually just pulls out. For this, I'm just using an eight millimeter. Don't take it all the way off. You wanna leave it a little bit loose just so you don't lose it. It's easier to put back on. Took the harness off. Get the connector off. This guy just, it's a little scary. This guy just pulls up. Just watch your core lines and everything. So once that's out, you got some room for activities. The high beam and low beam are behind the shroud, so get yourself a panel popper and uh, take out these Christmas tree fittings here. So hopefully you can see the high beam down there, and we'll get that one installed. Now a standard uh, halogen bulbs, you don't want to touch the bulb or get dirt on there. It'll shorten the life of the bulb. You know, it seems to get super hot, so a little bit of dirt or skin oil on there. It will cause the glass to crack, so be careful if you're using these. I'm taking them out, I don't care. I don't know how, how important it is on the LED or on the chip, but obviously you don't want to mess with that. Try and be gentle when you get it in. Don't get it dirty, don't bang it. It's probably resilient, but with the cost of these things, you don't want to mess around. These guys have little tabs in there, so they go in and they turn and they lock. Uh, they face down in the high beam. I'm just trying to make sure that the clock and the new one matches the old one. The old one wasn't, so I'm just making sure they match and that the orientation will be correct up and down when it's in the housing. On the harness for light, there's a positive and negative marker, and I have that on the opposite side of this retaining clip. Passenger side is good to go. Don't know if you can see, but the harness is back into the housing. You want to make sure this is back on. The first time I forgot and uh, the truck wouldn't start and then had a check engine code. Um, but that's easy enough to clear out with the reader. Let's get this guy back on. Nice and snug so we're only getting fresh air through the box. Okay. High beams are definitely brighter, that's for sure. And we'll come back out once the sun goes down. The lights are definitely more blue in real life than they are on the camera. Everything in the camera looks nice and bright white, which I kind of wish it looked like the way it did on, on the camera, but in real life it's actually a little dim and a little blue. They're definitely a little bit brighter than the stock bulbs, uh, but I'm really not blown away by them, and maybe I'm expecting too much, but I was really expecting to be blown away and not even necessarily need a light bar, but it looks like I'm still going to want some least some cubes or something for my high beams as you can see the throw is better with the highs and they switch on pretty quick but I was really hoping to see much further down the road at this point point. Um, and I can see a little bit further than what's in the camera but um, I was really hoping for more that being said I don't know that they're bad but I don't know that they're worth the price that they are the cheap bulbs I got for the fog lights seem to be much more powerful than these again they're not they don't throw as far um which again is probably part of the reflector but i feel like these just don't feel like they have uh incredible power like i figured they have or that the or that the marketing would lead you to believe they are over your stock bulbs If you have any experience with these or with any other LED headlights, let me know. I mean, maybe I'm expecting too much, but I thought for the money that they'd be a lot brighter. Um, I did pay for them with my own money. This isn't a sponsored video. It was definitely more disposable income. It's actually from YouTube ad rev. Um, so I'm not too disappointed in that sense. On the other sense, like uh, <laughs> I just spent 350 bucks for bulbs that aren't as bright as I really expected them to be. So. I don't know if other brands are any brighter. They're supposed to be some of the best out there. Maybe your miles will vary depending on your actual uh, application and the actual housing. I do plan on getting new headlight housings eventually, uh, just because that one has uh, got condensation in it and I'm not gonna fix that. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully this video helped you out. I mean, I think at least 
They're a little bit better than stock. I mean, I like the way they look. They're crisp, they're clean. Uh, they're a little bit cooler than I would like. I would like it a little bit warmer, maybe 300 to 500 Kelvin warmer, maybe 5,500K instead of 6,000K bulb. Uh, but they look nice uh, and they work better than stock, so I'm happy there. Uh, but again, I was just I was expecting to be blown away. So I'm still gonna get cubes and a light bar eventually. Um, you know, it's just, I need more light for driving along stretches of road, especially in uh, the winter at night with animals, uh, for driving on the back roads and um, coming up to my property. So I guess the battery on my flashlight is going. Um, so on that note, uh, oh, there it goes again. So on that note, may God bless you and keep saying that for what's right. And uh, again, I hope this video helped and uh, we'll see you in the next one.